Okay, as was mentioned before, we have uh, uh, dual Cortex A15s, a SMP, running uh, the Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. You can see the smooth operation of the UI here. Uh, we can also take a look at our video playback. Uh, smooth video playback showing the IVA HD acceleration. And then we can take a look at our rendering of images and the smoothness thereof. And then we can also take a look at the Nina Mark benchmark. Uh, this was running at uh, 64 frames per heck second. Again, that's limited by the display refresh. Uh, without that uh, display refresh limitation and running at the full entitlement of the device, we get about 130 frames per second. Wow. You noticed on the speed meter here, we're staying above 60 frames per second. And in a few seconds, we'll see the overall average, which again, will remain above 64 frames per second. Again, that limitation being the limitation of the refresh of the entire display. The display is a 720p display, 1280 by 800. Okay, what we have here is a two-piece design. We have the handset here, again, featuring the 720p display. On the right-hand side of the device we have the three and a half in, uh, three and a half millimeter jack uh, the mini HDMI we have USB 3 uh, we have some speaker cavities the volume up and down on the top of the device what we will have is camera modules that will fit on the top of the device on these connectors allowing us to change uh, getting different uh, camera sensors for example smart sensors or large resolution raw sensors on the other side of the device, we have a micro SD slot, we have a SIM slot, and again, there's the speaker cavity. On the back of the docking station, on the back of the docking station, we have the power switch, Ethernet controller, display port, uh, debug USB, and USB host functionality. We also have a MIPI debug connector, which we use for debug. So the docking station is both an input device as well as a debug device for those software developers. And this is the OMAP5 SEVM software development platform.